Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can add Mac into our live footage using Element 3D plugin and also with the help of Blender to convert into OBJ sequence that will work with Element 3D in Adobe After Effects easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. So for the right click on this project panel, import select your file or else you can directly drag and drop your footage onto this project panel. Now again select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here so that it creates a new composition with the footage properties. So in order to check the preview press 0 for RAM preview. So here you can see we got this footage this I have filmed using my mobile. So here the camera is not static, we got some moments here. In this kind of footages, if we want to place 3D elements or 3D objects, first we need to track the footage. So let's do that. Select this footage layer, come to this tracker options here. If you're not finding this tracker options, go to window and enable tracker from here. After that being selected our footage, click on this track camera. So it starts analyzing our footage and gives us some tracking points when it is done. So here our tracking is done and we got some track points. So first of all come to this advanced drop down and check this error value. So anything less than 1 will be ok. So here I got this 0.7 in pixels which is ok. For example if the error value is more than 1 pixel just click on this detailed analysis button. It will track once again and gives us some more low track points that may reduce this error value. So here I am happy with this track point size so that it is visible clearly. So now here I will select a bunch of track points here. At this place I want to place the Mac. I will select all these track points. Hold left mouse key and just select the track points here like this. Okay. So here you can see we got this solid point created right. So now here right click and select this create solid end camera. So here we got a new layer created namely track solid and also we got this camera layer. So let's bring this up here. So here we got this track solid right. So let's increase the scaling press S and increase the scaling and I will rotate this one. So press R and let's rotate this in Z axis. Okay. So now let's see this. So press zero. So now here you can see our track solid is staying in its position firmly. So now let's see how we can add our 3D Mac object into this live footage. So for that first we need to download the asset. So for that I am using Sketchfab. Here we are in Sketchfab. So in search bar just search as Mac and click on this downloadable and also this animated option since we are looking for walk cycle. So here we will get this objects right these models. So look for these downloadable options these models we can download and use them. Uh, so here I will be using this Mac so select that one scroll down. So thanks to this person for providing this Mac for freely to use in our projects. So here you can see we got this walk cycle right. So simply click on this download 3D model and select the format which you like. So here I will be using this GLTF format. If you want you can download this FBX also. So here for convenient purpose I will be using this GLTX so I will download this one. After downloading this we will get this in zip format unzip using WinRAR. So once this is done. We need to convert that file into obj sequence since element 3d supports only obj format we need to convert that one so for that i will be using blender which is an open source so if you are beginner no need to afraid only two or three steps were involved in conversion of this file format so simply download blender such as blender 3d download after that open it we will get this interface so first of all let's select everything by pressing a on the keyboard and delete them now we need to import our file so go to this file option import i have downloaded gltf right so i will select this one if you have downloaded fbx select this fbx so i will be selecting this gltf just select it and import so here you can see we got that model right and we will have some keyframes here so if i select this you can see we got this keyframe so if i play this we will have that animation in the form of keyframes so here we have this animation up to 48 frames 
which is okay so i will export only 48 frames so these 48 frames we can loop in element 3d so let's change this end to 48 so here if you want to see the model we got the armature very big so let me select this armature come to this armature options viewport display and let me change this to wireframe so now here you can see we got our make walk cycle so now let's export this into obj sequence so it is very simple just go to this file option export select this wavefront obj and select a folder where you want to save the files so here let me create a new folder i will create just as new open it and make sure to enable this animation option and also enable this obj groups and material groups and click on this export button so once this is done we can close blender no need further and now in after effects we need to create a new solid for element so go to this layer option new create a solid i will rename this as element and make it of comp size and hit ok so apply element onto this so come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this panel here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element so select this element and drop it onto this element layer and now click on the scene setup button so here we got a new window to work in element 3d so in order to import 3d sequence first we need to go to this file option import and select this 3d sequence and select the sequence files so select the first one and click on this open alignment let it be from bottom so that we'll get the pivot point at the bottom here and open and now just click on this normalize size to get our mic so here you can see we got our mic right nice so i will assign this mic to aux animation channel one don't move the position of mic in this workspace assign it to aux channel one and in order to get shadows of our mech we need to create a ground plane so go to this create option and create a plane and this size i will make it thousand and also let me increase this in y-axis like hundred so this is the root so this will catch the shadows so in order to get the shadows select this material come to this settings option so if i bring it here select the settings here go to the settings scroll down and enable this matte shadow or else you can apply material come to this physical here we will get the material so let me bring it here so look for matte shadow so here this is the matte shadow material just drag and drop it onto this plane so now it will cast shadows on the plane of our mech so we have assigned our mech model to aux animation channel one and this one also assigned to aux channel animation one so both ground plane and mech are in aux channel and main importantly we need to change the environment because if i enable this you can see the current model or the mech is in this kind of environment so in order to make this objects blend into the scene we need to have a 360 image of our scene so since i don't have that i will be using a screenshot of the same video which i'm using in this tutorial so click on this environment select the screenshot so here you can see i'm using the same screenshot of the video which i'm using in the tutorial and i will make it a bit brightness and okay now our model is in the environment so if you want to rotate the environment hold shift key left click and rotate it so i think this will be fine nice so let's make this a bit glossy so select the material scroll up and look for glossiness value so here we got this glossiness so it is already 250 fine and reflectivity i will increase this a bit like two so i think this is fine now click on this ok button let me disable this environment and hit on this ok we got our mech model right so now we need to place our mech model to stay on this tracking solid so for that we got these models in group one so i will show you that one also forgot to mention that so so here you can see these two models are in this group one folder so we need to work in group one so again click ok so come to this group one come to this group utilities 
click on this drop down of create group null and click on this create button so now we got a group 1 null created so now we need to copy the position of this track solid to this group 1 null so select this track solid press p on the keyboard for position values and let me select this group 1 null press p for position values now select the position of this track solid go to this edit option copy them now select this group 1 null position click on this position value and paste them so now you can see we got the mech at that solid position so come to this element so we got mech in aux channel 1 right so come to this particle replicator or else you can come to this box channels channel 1 and increase the scaling so if i increase scaling here you can see we got our mech scaling here nice so we can disable this track solid so here we got our mech here so it is not moving forward so we need to adjust the z position so be on the first frame add a keyframe for this position z being on this first frame and let's change the value to first 10 so that it will be going backward and move to the last frame and change this value to minus 20 i think or else let's make this disappear from the screen so minus 25 okay so let's see this so now if i play this you can see so here in order to get this perfect walk cycle we need to check this feet or this base of the character so if it looks like it is sliding so let me show you so here you can see it is looking like it is sliding on the ground that means we need to adjust the value so this is some manual process we need to do so i will change this to 15 so here i think i got this perfect number now so this is the only time consuming process here so for me at the starting frame plus 15 and at the end frame minus 60 is working better so this will be a manual thing which is also a time consuming so i will just rotate this here a bit so i'll rotate this in y axis so that it goes in this way so once the walk cycle is perfect scroll down come to this render settings enable this ambient occlusion so enable ambient occlusion and intensity i will change this to 5 i think 5 would be fine and samples i will change this to 16 and let's work on the shadows so in order to get shadows we need to add a light source so further go to this layer options new create a light so here select this parallel light intensity i think 150 is fine and make sure this cast shadows is enabled or else we won't get shadows after that click ok so we got light source here but shadows are not visible so select the element once again scroll down come to this render settings once again so come to the shadows and here enable the shadows and shadow mode change this to ray traced so now you can see we got some shadows visible here so you can reduce the intensity of the shadows so for that select this light layer drop down and select this light options so let me bring it here so here we got this shadow darkness right we can reduce it from here so i'll change this to 50 i think 50 would be fine and if you want to add another light you can do that to get some brightness in the scene so go to this light sorry layer options new light and for this we can add ambient light intensity i think 25 would be fine and okay so now we can see a bit of difference on the mech here nice so now let's add some blur onto this element so select this element layer and search for gaussian blur select this gaussian blur and drop it onto this element layer and just give a blurness value of three pixels would be fine i think and also enable this motion blur so that we get some motion blur added onto the mech so in this way we can add 3d animated mech into live footage easily using element 3d plugin and also with the help of blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we will meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye